All right, Stephanie, thank you. Now to a developing story. We are getting new updates today from civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who is representing the family of a legend Jones. She is the 17-year-old who died while in the custody of Youth Villages last month. Today, Crump and Jones' family spoke at NAACP headquarters about medical records they have obtained after Jones' death. Crump says those records indicate the 17-year-old's first diagnosis was compression of the brain. He also said that medical records indicated rhabdomyolysis, which is a rare condition condition often seen in people who suffered major injuries or trauma. Attorney Crump said Youth Villages has a video that shows what happened. He and the teenager's family say they want that video released immediately. We don't have to depend on witnesses. That's right. We got video. That's right. Release the video. Release the video. We got video. Release the video. This ain't nothing hard to figure out. Show the video. That's right. Show what the counselor's interactions were with this child, and you pair them with the medical records, yeah. and you will know absolutely what caused her death. Attorney Crump says that Youth Village's statement last week saying the agency did everything appropriately isn't saying much. On Action News 5 at 5 o'clock this evening, hear from a legend's mother, Shona, about the heartbreak she's experiencing and her family's calls for justice. Youth Villages did release a new statement today following the latest news conference with Crump and Jones' family. Youth Villages said, quote, we have been and continue to be fully transparent and working with all authorities. Last Last week, the leaders of our program met with Shona Gardner-White. We also received a representation letter from Ben Crump earlier this week. Our counsel responded and offered to have a conversation. We're still awaiting his response. We are fully cooperating, Youth Villages goes on to say, with the official investigation. This included providing surveillance camera footage of the incident to all relevant public safety and health authorities. Due to confidentiality and privacy laws, we do not share surveillance camera footage of our facilities publicly. To read the full statement from Youth Villages, look for this story online. Head to actionnews5.com.